Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Miss Didi. Thanks for your support and for viewing my video. I want to appreciate you all. Thank you so much. So today I'll be teaching you all all you need to know about the app Bgram. Everything you know how you need to know about the app Bgram. I'll be teaching you all today. So please do subscribe, like, and comment on my video, and don't forget to turn on your notification bell. So Bgram is a messaging app with a focus on speed and security. It's super fast, simple, and free. You can use Bgram on all your device at the same time. You can use it. And one thing about it is like Telegram. It's like Telegram, like you all know. It's the same thing as Telegram, but it has more features than Telegram. You understand? It's like you can call it Telegram, but it's not Telegram. It's another app. It's Bgram. So I want to teach you everything you need to know about the app Bgram. So if you know Bgram, you will know Telegram. So you understand? So let's go. What we're going to do is first go to the app Play Store and search up for the app bgram you download it and install it on your smartphone if you're using um, an apple phone you do the same thing go to your apple store then look for the app bgram and download it too download, download it on your phone so so this is the app bgram if you go to your play store this is how you want to see it bgram Go to your Apple Store, just search the word Bgram. This is how you want to do. So you install it. So we allow it to download, and we get back to you. So I have downloaded the app, and I've installed it. So right now I'm going to be open the app. You open the app. Allow it to exercise for me. Now. Yeah. Okay. You start messaging. Click on Start Messaging. You will say okay. So here now, what you're going to do is. You put in your number, they will send a verification code to you. You will put in your verification code and then you will kind of sign in. I'll show you the next background once I log into my app into my account. So what you're going to write and if you if you already have a like if you've opened a telegram account, you just put in here your telegram account. But if you have not opened a telegram account, just use any number of your choice. You will put in your your number, they will send a verification code to you. And that's it. I already have an account on Telegram, so I used the number I used on Telegram to sign in here to log in here. So I don't know if you understand, but if you if you're just logging in like for the first time, if you're just signing up, it will be very very new. So this is how it used to be. Now your first thing is this is program. If you want to create an account, this is it. Click on this. Arrange. Contact and groups. Click on continue. So if you want to create a group, you click on new group. If you want to create a channel, click on new channel. If you want to add members like are closer to you, click on add people nearby. If you want to invite your friends on Bgram, click on invite friends. So for your new group, you can click on new group. You add members like normal. So I've taught how to create a group before. So I'm just just say with this very good notes. Are you okay? Just put something for me. So as you can see, I've created the app H I U G T. So you click on these three dots here. That's if you want to translate a particular word. Maybe someone on the group used a particular like language you want to translate. Because these settings. If you want to search for something, maybe when you keep on your your chat and you want to search for a particular stuff that you sent earlier. Just click on search and type in your keyword. Mute notification. You don't understand. If you want to clear history, if you want to delete, you want to go to first messages, you want to find your messages, this is how you do it. So here you click here. Like I'll tell you, I clicked on the body like like the the, 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 the H I U G D. Just click on it. Now this is what you want to see. Like the members of my group, then the name of my group notification. If you want to up it, I'll just click on off and I switch off. I switch it off now you click on this pencil now if you want to change your group type from private to public you click on private and change it to public then if you want to click make it private like this you copy your your link just send the link to people if you want your invite your invitation link to invite people to your group now this is um chat history for new members if you want it in a way that once new members join your group they can see your chart history you can just make it visible by clicking the visible stuff here 
want to hit it just click and help leave it the way it's now for permission if you click on permission now this is everything you need to access your group if you don't want people to if you don't want people to be flooding your group with so much messages media polls too much stuff just click on this send messages everything will turn red so this way people cannot send message to your group nobody can send anything media to your group or stickers or polls they cannot even pin your messages if you click on this they cannot change your chat information if you click on this so they're only allowed to add members to your group but if in the way that you want them to do every other thing even to send messages just click on only send messages now you see here slow mode in this way in this of feature what you're going to do is okay for me if i want to chat in so like with someone's mess, um, group i'll click on if i type hi a timer will give me like maybe 25 or 30 seconds before i type another message so this is like a timer that will regulate someone that is typing in your group so if you want it to be okay before the next person before the person types another message it will be on one hour for the person you make it one hour if you want it 15 minutes you make it 15 minutes if you want it five minutes you make it five minutes if you want it one minute you make it one minute if you want it 30 seconds you make it 30 seconds and if you don't want it at all just click off so you understand now the next way is add an um, extension here you see you, you read the caption the, the caption says members should be able to send only one message every 30 seconds that's for the slow mode now for the add exception maybe it's like an admin role but it's not an admin for all this permission i want one person that can do any other thing just click on this at the same um, section and click any contact of the choice and make and click on it now if click on the good now the next thing is the member make administration you click on administration if you want to make someone an admin of your group you click on administration i like to load okay now you click on add admin any of these contacts if i want to make any of them an admin of my own group i'll just click on the on, on the contacts okay now this is what i want my admin to do okay if i don't want the admin to change group information i'll remove it if i don't want him to delete my messages if i don't want him to ban users if I don't want him to invite users via link or pin my messages, if I just look at it, just you can just remove it like this. Okay, if you want to give the admin a name, maybe he is kind of a presenter or something, you just right click on this admin stuff and write the name you want to see. Maybe head officer, stuff like this. Sorry, officer. Mm -hmm. Head officer. Okay. It gives the person an um, opportunity to ban users. Then you click good. So that's how you admin. So you see, I've been promoted by Scholar GT. Now that's it. If you want to check your recent actions, you click on recent actions and you see your recent actions. Okay. Now for members, I just want to know members in your group. So this is it. You want to delete the group, just click on delete and it will delete. So this is it. As you can see, when I clicked on the members, you see the person I promoted as head officer. You can see it instead of the name admin. So that's how you do it. Now, if I want to add a bot to my group, I'll be doing that in the next in my next video. But I'll, what I'll be doing in my next video is how to customize your bot, the bot in your group, like how to set a bot in your group. But now, how to add a bot? For me, I just go straight away to the admin administrator. Then I'll click on add admin. Then I'll make any bot of my group. So this is anti service message bot. So you could choose the one you want. So let's go for the first one. This is it. So you click right. Now, if you add members to your group, don't worry to it will join if you add members to your group like if you're an adder it will easily delete like all the members you're adding instead of saying so 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 join so 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 join it will be deleting so now let's go to the dashboard click on the dashboard if you want to call your members click on calls if you want to if you want to click on your save message maybe you save a lot of messages you click on save messages if you want to check your settings maybe you want to customize your you know your your account 
click here if you want to change your profile picture on your on the picture if you want to change your name your username click on the username if you want to go change your view change you click on the view now if you want to change your device your language folder if you want security and notification sound you do it here i don't want to do any of that now you also have a b setting i want to have its own if you want to customize your setting you want to change the background the view your charts information you see you can just play around it see you can enable stuff here see why i said it has more features than telegram so if you want to send a text message just click on message type in your message if you want to add stickers the stickers to off and you send if you want to send an audio you see an audio stuff here you hold it then you allow then you do your recording just tap if you want to if you don't want to do something just click on the key if you want to cancel if you want to send you send if you want to do a video just tap on the <coughs> recording then you see you can now tap on it then you do a recording that's how you do that now if you want to add members to this group what you're going to do is you go to contact and group you go to your tap and hold on to your number you see a double group i've done a tutorial on this before but i'm just doing it click on the addition sign then the here should you do you add to it as you can see you are adding members to the group See. as you can see you are adding members to a group so this is how we add members to a group now if you want if you want to maybe you want to send message to this group from another group and you don't want it to look like um you want to like you you, you copied it that like you forwarded it and i want to send this message to a group you tap it you tap on it you see edit and repost you click on the on edit and repost you can now send it to any group this way to you not see forward in the like you not see that the message or the video you want to send to your group is forwarded from another person's group you can see pin if you want to pin just tap on the message you want to pin. tap on it then you pin if you want to find replies the same thing same message mark set mark on message same thing if you want to save it to cloud you know all you need to do is just tap on the stuff now that's it for how to add members to a group and how to send messages now the next thing you need to know is okay i've done that so if you want this group to be more good more accessible like you don't want people to be flooding your group now that's when you cannot add um different type of boots we have group help we have rows we have group boosters then you can now set it i will not be doing the tutorial today maybe next time i will teach you how to set and um yes yeah, set your boots see this is the importance of the boots that i made and admin the anti-service message boots as you can see it's deleting all this you added this you added that so once you get to this message hello it's deleted now if you want to reply this message just click on this you see an arrow facing this facing left just to click on it and you reply your message so that's how you reply your messages as you can see we have added some more than three members to my group already so that's how you keep on adding members to your group you can do add for add with other people 
they will add for you and you add for them and like that you keep growing your group like i make a meet me i'll be like add for add i'll add my members to him and he'll add members to me so so this is all you need to know about big Ram. if you understood this video please like comment and share don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and turn on your notification bell if you want me to do any tutorial on anyone you don't understand please comment on this section below and don't forget this is this word and we love you all thank you for supporting my channel and merry christmas to you all and a beautiful loving happy new year to you all thank you Mwah.